modernization of any aircraft missile system S-125-2D Pechora-2D. Any aircraft systems play the leading role in airspace defense and national defense as a whole. Local and regional conflicts have proven the critical importance of any aircraft weaponry for air defense. Ukrspets Export, the state company for export and import of military and dual-purpose products in cooperation with its daughter company Ukroboron Service, repairs, modernizes and extends the life of S-200, S-300PT, S-300PS and Buk M-1 anti-aircraft missile systems for Ukraine's anti-aircraft missile forces. Ukraspets Export and Dukoroboron Service are also engaged in repairs and life extension of any aircraft missile systems for foreign customers. Operating in this field, Ukraspets Export and Dukoroboron Service use the potential of the national defense industry, where a significant role is played by the R&D enterprise Aerotechnica MLT. The joint operation of Ukrospets Export, Ukroboron Service and Aerotechnica MLT has resulted in a modernized version of the any aircraft missile system S-125M1, which is used by more than 30 countries. The modernized weapon is codenamed S-125-2D, alias Pechora 2D for export. The S-125-2D is intended for destroying strategic, tactical and marine aircraft as well as airborne cruise missiles at low and medium altitudes with passive and active interference in daytime and at night. The S-125-2D consists of the firing control station UNK-2D, the antenna post UNV-2D, the launchers 5P73-2D, up to four launchers per battery, and technical equipment. The system uses the missiles 5V27D. The S-125-2D has successfully passed all the required tests, including live firing. The modernization of the any aircraft missile system S-125M1 into the S-125-2D has resulted in the following upgrades life extension at least to 15 years, higher combat efficiency through the expanded target hitting area, increased mobility, higher resistance to radioelectronic interference, higher durability, higher reliability and improved functional characteristics. In the course of firing tests, guided anti-aircraft missiles were launched in different modes and at different targets, including small-sized and above-water targets. The tests confirmed the following combat characteristics of the S-125-2D system. Target detection range for tactical fighters. Not less than 100 km at an altitude of 7 km. Not less than 28 km at an altitude of 20 m. Maximum speed of targets. 800 m per second in the opposite direction. 300 m per second in pursuit. Minimum hitting altitude 20 m. Maximum hitting altitude 21 km. Near hitting area 3.5 km. Horizontal range to the far hitting area 27 km. Slant range to the far hitting area 35 km. Maximum bearing parameter 24 km. In the course of modernization of the S 125M1 into the S 125-2D, all the basic components were improved. The firing control station UNK-2D with the antenna post UNV-2D provides for detection of low-altitude targets at ranges up to 110 km, tracking and subsequent aiming of one or two missiles, and firing result control. The self-propelled version of the UNK-2D is an entirely new hardware placed in a heat-insulated container mounted on the KRAZ truck of high off-road capacity. The container is equipped with an inbuilt sustenance system which warms or cools the air inside if necessary. The trailer body has two compartments. The hardware module of the firing control station UNK2D is entirely different from the old UNK-M1. The station crew numbers four men. The S125-2D system is controlled from four automated workbenches equipped with flat monitors. The commander's automated workbench receives and processes tracking data from radar stations P-18MA, 
P180U, P19MA and P190U, as well as from radar stations and height-finding radars of older types, which are additionally equipped with data extractors, and from the control center of the module type. The commander's workbench transfers target distribution and designation data to the guidance operator's workbench. The monitors of the commander's automated workbench display the air situation data from the interfaced circular surveillance radars with bridging to the launching site, the horizontal projection of the hitting area, and recommendations for the order of firing at air targets. The monitors of the guidance officer's workbench display data from radar channels and the optic television channel. The monitors of two workbenches of manual tracking operators display data from radar channels of relevant sighting planes and from the optic television channel. The hardware compartment of the firing control station has two efficient and compact diesel generators. The mounting of the diesel generators on the platform of the firing control station reduces the number of structural units in the anti-aircraft missile battery. The antenna post UNV-2D is equipped with receiver and transmitter receiver systems which operate in the centimeter range. The aerials of special configuration are turned 45 degrees to the horizon to reduce surface reflections. The antenna post UNV-2D has the prototype waveguide antenna systems and the prototype magnetron generator of the target transducer with a frequency adjustment mechanism. The actuating drive engines with rotary amplifiers were replaced with modern high-precision servo-control electric engines. A new microwave target and missile tracked receiver has successfully passed all tests. This device has modern low-noise solid-state amplifiers. Radar channel signals are digitized on the intermediate frequency and are further processed at the software level by industrial computers. Missile control commands are coded in the digital element base and transmitted via semiconductor amplifiers. The antenna post UNV-2D and the firing control station UNK-2D communicate via a digital data transmission line. The modernized antenna post UNV-2D also has new optic television target sighting and tracking equipment. The vacuum VDCon of the optic television head was replaced with a high-sensitivity solid-state matrix. Images are transmitted via the industrial computer to the monitors of the tracking and guidance operators, thus enabling visual target tracking and firing without any radar emission. A radically new system is being developed for receiving and processing signals from the optic television channel for automatic target tracking. The antenna post UNV-2D is mounted on a towable chassis and can also be mounted on a trailer or other mobile base. The launcher 5P73 has been modernized into the 5P73 2D type. The modernization involves replacement of the azimuth and tilt angle driving gears with integrated servo drive systems and the development of an intellectual missile preparation and launch control system. At present, the possibility of mounting the 5P73 2D launcher on a mobile base is being considered. Works on restoration, modernization and life extension to 15 years of the guided anti-aircraft missiles 5V27D are nearing completion. This makes the modernization of the anti-aircraft missile systems S-125 to the 2D level more attractive to both Ukrainian and foreign customers. The S-125 modernization program is based on the principle of unification of separate devices, equipment blocks and entire systems. The solutions found in the course of this work make it possible to reduce the time and costs of similar modernization of older anti-aircraft missile systems, such as the S-75M3 Volga, Ossa AKM and Cube M Square M.
success in fulfilling these tasks is guaranteed by the high intellectual level and practical skills of the technicians, the high technological, engineering and industrial capacities of the national defense enterprises, and modern approaches to the challenges facing Ukraine's armed forces and the armies of its military partner countries.